Hey there. So in this video, I will be making a very small pocket knife. I found this knife somewhere, and I thought it looked so cool and so small that I just had to make one myself. As you can see, it's not but an inch wide. So this video is going to be slightly difficult. I feel like I will lose all my sanity trying to stick something this tiny together. So one of the things I'm going to have to figure out how to do is how to actually put together this thing. I want to know all the steps before I just start making stuff so I don't mess anything up and have to start over. So as we can see right here, there is a sheet of metal that has been folded in half to give both sides of the uh, handle and somewhere to attach the blue plastic pieces to. I'll probably use wood because I do not have plastic. There's a piece of metal in there that looks like this and the blade is right here. This could go straight up, it doesn't really matter. It is a, that piece is mounted right here and probably somewhere in here. But this piece needs to be able to flex back and forth. So I start with a new piece of paper. We're going to need a flat piece of metal. That's just a hair, double the width of this. Wait, did I say paper? We're gonna need a flat piece of metal that we will bend directly down the center. So then we have this type of shape. Then we're also going to need two pieces of wood. That just, that for the both sides of the handles. We're also going to need a blade that looks like this. And we're going to need one more piece for that piece that I told you earlier that gives it the spring effect to stay open and not fall shut. Let's just get started. So because I don't have really thin metal, a sheet of thin steel, I will just be using a bullet casing and cutting out that piece that we need to fold in half out of this because it's really thin. I'm just going to start off here by cutting out every piece ahead of time. Now I'm cutting out the spring part of it and I'll be cutting out the blade next. Okay, so here's our wood for the handle. Here is the metal for the spring contraption. Here is the metal for our blade. And here is the case for holding everything together. So getting this down to size is going to be kind of tricky because it's super small. And uh, I can't just put it on the belt sander because, well, it'll probably just disappear in about five seconds. While filing down these pieces of metal, I decided that I would not put a wooden handle on it as to the fact that this thing would be way too small and I don't like woodworking anyway. We got that part partially done. Obviously, it can't be folded in in the top like it is, so we're going to have to fix that part.
I'll just beat it on this so I can get it the rest of the way. But I got those burrs off now. There we go. There is our first part of our super small pocket knife. So we're gonna work on the tip first. So, I'm actually going to have to take it down considerably. And then I need to file it down to that mark right there. Get out. There we go. Go down to that line now. It's a little blade. We just have to grind it down this way now. I think this is pretty much our blade, obviously. So we still need that little dip out of the back. Um, yeah, well, uh, here's our next big project. Long, but it looks like it's done now. Oh, that's ugly. Okay, so here's our uh, object. Our blade it goes together sort of like this. This will um, come out, unfold and stick out, kind of like this. So here's all our pieces, here's our spring, our blade, our casing, and our two pins, which I made off camera because you didn't need to see me make that. I'm going to work on grinding the top of this down, shaping it up a little bit nicer, because as it is, let me show you, as it is the entire blade is completely covered by the casing which you're going to want it sticking out just a little bit so you can grab it, then open it. Now that we've got every piece pretty much fashioned, let's work on refining it a little bit. Put it back together. 
¿no? So file it down a little bit. Cut this. There we go. We're getting more of a slender pocket knife shape. There we go. This side's done. I'll beat that down and kind of compress it in there. Now I gotta work on this one. So the reason I tell you to be careful about pounding it down too tight is because I actually pounded this peg down too tight and made it where it no longer let the blade swing open, making it that so that I had to actually drill out the pin and make a new one. There we go. I guess now it's time to just sand it and make it look pretty. Okay, let's just... Okay, let's work on the grip to be able to open up the blade. I actually went ahead and did this to both sides so that it would be easier to open. Hey there, thanks for watching this video, and if you watched to the very end, thank you very much. So, here is the finished result of our miniature folding knife. It does go back and click, so now it's not loose. Although it's not the most pretty thing, because I really can't hold something this small up to my big polishing wheel. So, yeah. <clears throat> I've never made something quite this small. You can't cut anything with it. It's slightly tall, but uh, yeah, you probably could cut something, just not yourself. I will not be selling this knife on my Etsy shop like my other ones. I don't really think anyone would buy it. I'm just making this one for a friend. But if you want me to make you one that looks like this, I guess you can reach out and I'll consider making one. But as you can see, it's not very refined. And if you wouldn't mind hitting that like button and subscribing to my YouTube channel, I would appreciate that greatly. It helps a ton. And thank you very much, and I'll see you next time. Bye!